Hello friends and followers and welcome back to a new video. It is March already and this is still our Christmas wall. And my wife was complaining I should finally paint over it. And this is what we want to do today. I already prepared a really nice color. Mm. This is what happens if you put all the colors that you still have left over together in one bucket. And um, yeah, this is the destroying color that we put on the wall now. But I think first we will remove some of the loose color parts. And while scraping off the colors, I thought to myself, how many artworks did I paint on this wall? There was the Venom wall, the insane Halloween production together with my Slovakian friend Dirk, the incredible Jesus wall together with Kayo and Kreis, the Doodle wall together with Biatch from Cologne and the Angry Birds wall with my friend Kier. Together with Biatch again, we morphed my wooden wall into a bricks wall and with Kier I painted the legendary PUBG mobile wall. And the last Christmas wall was layer number 8. Let's start painting. And I have to admit that I enjoyed it myself to finally cover this annoying Christmas theme wall. It definitely was time for a new collaboration with some good guys. Hey, day two. The wall is already pretty dry. Oh yeah, wonderful. And the first artist I want to introduce is Moko. The last time you saw him on my channel was in the Epic Railway Bridge project. I really like his clean and readable style. Okay, 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 okay. The next artist who joined this collaboration is the Invisible Kier. We already paint together since the year 2006 and Kier surprises me always with new crazy styles. And the last artist who will join our project is the character specialist Merk. If you didn't recognize him directly, he painted the Santa in our Christmas project. Okay, Mokka already started with the first line and I didn't even start recording a time lapse. And there will be something different with this wall today because I will be the background and character guy. I won't paint a graffiti piece. But I think that Kia and Mokka will do a perfect job as well. Nick will paint a character in the middle and I will start now directly with a raccoon. Painting a nice raccoon on this side over there. <laughs> this is the reference picture. Oh man, I love raccoons, they're so funny. Okay, as I still don't know where uh, Kier will end with his R, I will start painting a little cute robin over there. The robin and the raccoon should interact with the graffiti pieces, so I paint the robin like it is sitting on Mokka's M. To fill in the large areas of the background I use a darker color and a roller. This is fast and efficient and I don't have to climb on the ladder the whole time. I did the same with some white for some light that is coming through the trees. So now you probably have an idea what kind of concept we are painting. Mm -hmm. 
My idea of this concept wall was that I give the other graffiti artists all the freedom to paint their stuff. And Nick and I connect everything and give the wall the theme. Döner. I love Döner. After this tasty lunch, we continued with a lot of new energy. Kier already painted his blocks, Nick trimmed his mustache, and I finally completed the upper background time for some more raccoon details. Raccoons have really weird hands. <laughs> so I painted them freestyle and I did not notice that I missed one finger. Okay, so now the raccoon has only four fingers. While Kier started painting his outlines and Nick still did adjustments at the head, Mokka already did the final clean cuts. He's incredibly fast. I don't know how I would paint all these fine details and fine hair without the tiny oh, pink stencil kit. Link is in the description. And I had the pleasure to make a nice tag on Mokka's hat before he left the stage. Goodbye, Mokka, and thanks for coming. While painting the background, I even decided to paint over the style from Mokka. Sorry, Mokka, but I think this is a great effect. This already looks so much better than I expected, <laughs> especially with this tree. This one tree that is in front of the blurry trees looks so good. Okay, and now it starts raining. This is time to stop for today. Okay, day two of painting. <laughs> Look what we have here. Nick has already brought his drone, but um, we want to start the day with the coffee and we have perfect weather today I'm still not that sure what I want to paint underneath the styles I, will, I, I think about maybe some more old rotten wood um, some more some mushrooms um, I think this is a perfect idea and my cameraman and the camera woman are already there as well. Hi! <laughs> is it a sheep? What kind of animal is it? <laughs> ah, wie cool!
best thing about the locks in the foreground is that uh, they give the whole painting such a depth and the, the, the piece from Mocha it sticks between the locks and so everything, the background and the style, they have a connection. And now, now I want to give, give the artwork even another layer so that I, I paint one of these uh, white trees in front of the locks and in front of the piece. And it goes over there and, it, oh. and then there, there are just some leaves missing and then this side is already done. Perfect. Okay, now we had the idea, it's a pretty radical idea, I wanted to have a tree in the middle of the style from Kia. I think this is a funny surprise for Kia. I hope he does not want to kill me afterwards. So let's start. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, day three of painting. Today we want to do the final touches. I know you want to see it. You are impatient. And now I will show you the final result. Okay, friends and followers, that's it for today. I hope that you were a little bit entertained. Please don't forget to like the subscribe button. And a big thanks to Montana Cans, the best spray paint on this planet. Please check out the description area for very helpful links. Uh, yeah, I think this was a nice collaboration. I hope to see you in the next project. Thanks and goodbye and check out his YouTube channel.